1949 when Gibson introduced the ES electric Spanish 175 175 to the jazz market and it was a massive success and it was a massive success because it was cheaper than the L4 and also because Gibson used the laminated wood technology to con for constructing the body and this laminated wood you know maple poplar maple pressed together and they used this pressed building up the uh, the front, the back, the side. So this technology helped reducing feedbacks and feedbacks were, were the big issues that time on stages. Everybody tried to be loud and clean, loud and punchy. However, these hollow body jazz guitars were very, very sensitive for feedbacks, you know, reflections from the wall, um, some kind of waves from, from the amplifiers and drums and hi-hats and things like that you know it's all caused all sorts of feedback loops and this construction this laminated wood construction helped reducing feedbacks and jazz guitarists who wanted to be clean loud and punchy they really liked it they really liked it so this was a massive success give some es175 water guitar this is the still since then this is the big daddy of the jazz guitars i think Beth Metheny, West Montgomery, all the big names, you can't jaw pass all the big names uh, use this sort of, use this model because because of the sound that I tried to demonstrate to you, so let me drink a bit more red wine, hopefully that will help my English and hopefully that will help playing jazzier for you. <laughs> This beautiful mellowness, this beautiful neck pickup sound only possible from a big massive hollow body arch top guitar and this is a fantastic example. Can you imagine this guitar is 15 years old, made in 2004 and in absolute bloody brand spanking new mint condition, you know, there's no issues, there's no dings, dents, even the plastic protector here on the scratch plate unbelievable so somebody bought this guitar and didn't play it at all as you can see this is the top of the range figured version so there was a version which had a uh, plain maple but this has a fantastic figuring even even on the on i hope i hope the camera can pick it up but even the sides are fantastically figured the back is just 
second to none. It has a nice middle C. I think it's not a not a chunky neck, so this is like a middle C neck shape. Fantastically done frets, uh, nice fretboard edges, and I tell you what, no issues at all. I can't see any problem on this guitar. Yeah, man. It's just a fantastic example. Check it out on my website rollysguitars.co.uk. You won't be disappointed if you after a jazz box. I I don't think you can find a cleaner, better example. Especially this is this is a collector. Co this is a collectible guitar. This is a 15 years old guitar in new condition with even the plastic protector on it. So this is serious. If the, if you after an ES175, this is the, probably the best second hand example on the market at the moment. So check this beauty out. It sounds wonderful. Let me play something else. Let me play another tune. <laughs> drink this last drop of beautiful Hungarian red wine for those who designed this guitar. You know what? Music wouldn't be the same without these, without these jazz boxes, without Gibson archtop guitars. It's a legend. It's a, it's, 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 it's a piece of art, piece of history. Did you just hear the bridge pickup? The bridge pickup sounds warm. You know what? That's, that's, that comes from this hollow body construction and makes all the notes airy and warm and jazzy oh my god you know what i love this guitar i love this guitar and this is a beautiful clean example from 2004 there's no dings dance no buckle marks on it somebody just looked after it very much somebody just respected it somebody just put that in the corner and was looking at it you know when it, when i got it when i got it and i opened the case i was just looking at it because this is a piece of history and this is talking this is talking to you <laughs> oh my god this is a great example let me finish this red wine and let me play another tune for you <laughs> <laughs>
this is a big arch top guitar, big hollow body, and it's so easy to play. So I bet a lot of R and D and design went into this model when they when they released and when they were designing it that time in the in the 40s, 1940s. And I see why people like Pat Pathini and Joe Pass and all these big players, even the very fast players like Pat Pathini, really like this instrument because it's it's comfortable. It's somehow this big body with this short neck and maybe because because it plays like butter <laughs> but the action is so low. This floating bridge here, it, it's so easy to set up the intonation on this because this whole bridge is moving when when you when you put new strings on it you can make sure you put it into the right place and make some adjustments much more than on the stop tap piece. This is a great this is a great instrument and definitely the cleanest 15 years old guitar that I've ever had in my life. So please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and check this guitar out on rolliesguitars.co.uk. I'm sure you won't be disappointed with this. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>